Hi, I'm Mark Cook, CEO of Shiny Shoe. As a studio, we're best known for our roguelike deck building card game Monster Train. And now we're working on a new roguelike, Inkbound. And today I'd like to show Monster Train fans how we've woven the design DNA from Monster Train into Inkbound. Monster Train is all about dense, interesting decisions and trying to find wild, overpowered combinations of cards, artifacts, and upgrades. Inkbound shares the same design goals. We want players to feel the same density of interesting decisions and experience the payoff of going from weakling to god over the course of a strategic roguelike run. Let's look at the specifics of how some of these similarities play out. First off, both games have turn-based combat. In Monster Train, players play cards from their deck and are limited by a resource called Ember. Inkbound may look like an ARPG because it shares the same camera angle, but it's not an action game. Players move and select bindings to cast and aim, limited by a resource called Will. To create a fluid control feel, players move freely within their constraints and aim bindings like MOBA skill shots. Crucially, in both games, players can act rapidly. We always aim to respect the player's time and don't want to bog them down watching slow-paced, repetitive animations. You can go slow and think when you need to, and go fast when the decisions come easy. In Monster Train, champion characters like Rector Flicker can be upgraded during a run in impactful ways that can dramatically alter player strategy. In Inkbound, players can ascend their bindings, significantly changing how they function. Like Monster Train, our goal is for the upgrade opportunities to offer a variety of different strategic options that can alter the course of your run. Players pick an artifact and a champion upgrade at the start of the run in Monster Train. Similarly, players pick a vestige item and an ability upgrade in Inkbound. In battles, players must consider the risk-reward of trying to earn coins by attacking the Collector. We've brought that into Inkbound, where players can optionally chase down a Quilling Pot to earn run currency. In Monster Train, we have a rich tracking system for in-game progress and achievements called the Logbook. In Inkbound, we're doing the same, with a detailed logbook tracking progress across a variety of objectives, with many hours of challenging gameplay required to complete them all. Those are some of the ways we're looking to take the fun of Monster Train in a whole new direction in Inkbound. Inkbound launches in the second quarter of 2023 on Steam in Early Access. If this video piqued your interest, please wishlist us on Steam. Thanks and see you next time.